So today I will show you how to uh, import the data database in SQL Server. So uh, in real life, when you are working with uh, production server data analysis using uh, SQL Server, so you often need to import the data set. Data set or maybe uh, you can say the uh, so import files. Okay. So in this case, uh, I have Adventure Work database offered by Microsoft, and uh, I want to import it in my SQL Server. So I will uh, show you in next one minute so this is my sql server management studio and i will go to the uh, first i will go to the database here my server name is this uh, in client product in client place the server name may be different so you, what you need to do you need to first click on the database okay once you click on the database then you need to do the right click and restore database so in restore database you will find all book of windows and here what you need to select you know, from the source window you need to select the device so where exactly it is located okay so uh, it will show you the backup devices so in this case i need to click the add button so it will open me uh, one windows and i need to choose my uh, backup file so first of all for convenience what i will see i will see this file is in uh, the location of this file is uh, program file Microsoft SQL Server, down the line uh, SQL Server Express, MS SQL and Backup. Okay, so for convenience, what I will do, I will copy these all uh, three backup files and I will go to the uh, C drive that is program file. Let me check uh, where exactly is in program file. Uh, yeah, it is normal program file. So I will go to the program file. Then next is a SQL Server, SQL Server, SQL Server Express, MS SQL, and Backup. So this is a folder where uh, I have been popped up. So I will paste all this database here. So Microsoft usually provides this uh, backup sample database to do some analysis and to for the learning purposes. So I have copied this database here and I will go back to my SQL Server. Now I am unable to see, first you need to refresh it, once you refresh it you will see this uh, is already there. So what I will do, I will first uh, go with first Adventure Watch 2022 database. Okay, and I, I click uh, OK. Then I have already added it, I will select it and say OK. Yeah, so this backup file seems to be important. Now I just need to hit OK. So here you can see uh, my SQL Server uh, data, my MS SQL Server is uh, importing this uh, backup file of uh, database so let us wait for a while uh, okay so it has successfully installed uh, restore the database and about the message i will serve up. so first you need to check how uh, select top 10 okay so in order to do that what i will do i will click on the new query in the top window so once i click on the new query under this adventure database my query will be open okay so for the simplicity i will open some sample tables so let me check how many okay so these are the number of tables uh, i will take this one now uh, human resources department in this case i just want to know how many records are there. so simply i what i can do i can write a query select count of one from human resources dot department and hit execute so it will show me that there are 16 columns 16 rows in this department okay now i'm just zooming in for your convenience yeah and uh i have i also want to uh, do by shortcut please so in order to do through shortcut please what i can do you need to first take any comma any tables say for example this is a table okay and uh say for example i want to check how many counts are there. yeah so uh i will select it and i will see how many counts are there. Now, first of all, I will uh, press Ctrl plus 3. So it is showing me the top uh, 10 records. Now, if you want to see how total records, then uh, I will also show you. I have set the Ctrl plus 4. So it is showing me to what two empty records. Now, how come this uh, come to know that uh, I have pressed Ctrl 3, Ctrl 4, Ctrl 5, and it is giving me the statistics like top 5, top 10, and total number of records. So in order to do that, uh, what you need to do, you need to go to the options and go to environment environment in environment go to keyword and under the keyword you can go to the query search option so in this query search option the here there are uh, different shortcuts is okay here you need to set your uh, custom procedures <coughs> it is a kind of a stone procedure so here i have set control plus three means top five i uh, 
change into top 10. So select top 10 star top. Then next is the control plus four. So I will put it count one from. So it will show you how many records are there. Four records are there. Then uh, control plus five it means uh, select star from. So whatever I table I selected, so it will by default uh, take the pre-defined slow process select star from. Okay, so this is the shortcut key which you will often encounter in your daily life. Now I want to check how many total records are there. I just want to see, so I press control five. So uh, it has uh, given me the total number of records. So these three uh, shortcut keys are very much very important for your daily life. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.